Hello friends, welcome to my channel Genius Kids. Today's video is about class 4 Silver Zone Maths Olympiad previous year's question paper for class 4. So I have divided this uh, previous year last year question paper in three parts and each part uh, there are 10 questions. Uh, now today I am giving a video for the part 1. In the next two video, I will complete this total uh, 2002, 2020, 2003 previous year question paper. Okay, so let's start. So uh, in this question paper, there are actually three sections and there are total 30 number of questions. Section A is for uh, mathematics part and there are 20 questions in this chapter. There is 20 questions. So, in part 1 there are 10 questions, in part 2 another 10 questions in the section A part. In the section 2 there are logical reasoning, there are 5 questions and another 5 questions for the answer there are section C that is collision that is another 5 questions. So, 20 plus 5 plus 5, total 30 questions in this question paper for class 4 IOM, silver zone IOM. Okay. So, let's start with our first 10 questions of the mathematics part. First question is find the successor of the number, find the successor of the number which is 365665 more than the product of 27 and 31. So in this sum, what they want to do? They want to they want to product find out the product of this, then add the, uh, with this product add this number. And, the, and they actually find out the successor. So, what is the number we get after adding this? We need to add 1 to get the successor. So, these three things you need to do for these questions. So, if we do this question, uh, if we do this sum, uh, this first step, first step is, first step is, you need to, find in the first step, you need to multiply 27 into 31. So, if you multiply 27 into 31, it will give 7, 2, 3721, 3 do 6, 6 plus 2, 8. So it will be 7, 3, 8. So it is 8, 37. This is first step. In the second step is, you need to add 3, 6, 5, 6, 6, 5 plus 8, 37. So 5 are 3, 5, 7, 12, 1. 6 plus 3 plus 1, 10, 0, 1, 8 plus 8, 6, 6, 14 plus 1, 15, 6, 6, 3. So, this is my the, the number. And now, in the third step, they want the successor. So, in the third step, we need to add 1 to this number. And if you add this 1 to this number, you get 566503. Six, six so, this is the successor of this number. Okay. So, option C is your correct answer. Next step is in the number 275465, 2,75,465, what is the difference between the place value of 5? So, here are two 5s are there. Okay. The place value of this 5 is 5,000. And the place value of this 5 is 5. So, what is the difference between 5000 and 5? This is 4995. So, option C is your correct answer. Arrange the following Roman numerals in the ascending order. So, in the num Roman numerals, we need to find out what are the numbers against this. So, x, 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 x is represent 10. So, 3x, 30 plus 2. 32. So, this is represented 32. C, C means 100. In Roman C, it is equivalent to numeral is 100 and L is represent to 50. Okay. So, in this number, this is 100, 32, 30, xsx 30, 3x 30 plus 2. So, this is 132. Here, C 100, xx 20, and 1x, x1 one before x is 9, so it is 129, 
and he, this one is L, L is 50, 50, 60, 70 and this one is 74. So, ascending order means smallest to largest. So, if you see this is the largest one. So, this is 132, 129, 74, 32. So, option C is your correct answer. Okay. Difference between the four digit smallest number and the four digit greatest number formed by using digit 203, 2033 where 3 comes twice in both the number. Okay. 203 where 3 comes twice in both the numbers. So, if so, the numbers are if you see the numbers are 2033. Three. Okay these are the four numbers because three is comes twice now from these four numbers what is the largest number or, or is the greatest number for digit number we formed it is formed is three three two zero this is the greatest number and what is the smallest number we get it is two zero three three see this is the smallest number this is the greatest this is the smallest so if you subtract this because we need to find out the difference. So, for, for the difference we need to subtract this. So, it is 7, it is 4, it is 8, 1, it is 2, it is 1. So, 1 to 8, 7. So, 1 to 8, 7 means A. So, option A is your correct answer. Okay. Next one, A plus B plus 45,896 is equal to C plus D. If C plus D is 96,023 plus B, find out the value of A. Okay. So, how you do this? A plus B plus 45896 that equal to C plus D. So, in place of C plus D, D, we can write this value because C plus D equal to this. So, we write 96023 plus B. Understand why? Because this is equal to C plus D, but C plus D equal to this. So, we can put this value in place of C plus D. Now, here, if we found find out this, now, there, if, please, please, this part, this step, you need to, check, you need to concern very, very cautiously. Please check how, what I do. First, we see, write 96023. Here it is there already. Now, if we change, if we take this part, this one into opposite side, this left hand value to the right hand side, if we take this right hand side, it's the, the sign of a, the sign, of, uh, sign is going to be changed. So, when we take this part from left hand side to right hand side, its value going to plus is going to be minus and it will be 4, 5, 8, 9, 6. Similarly, when you take the value from here to here, this b is going to be minus b. So, plus b minus b, it will be nothing. So, we need to find out the summation of this. So, the summation of this 9023 plus 4, 5, 8, 9, 6. So, it will give 7, 2, 105 five, 50127 so option b is your correct answer so when i change or take left hand side any value to the right side uh, right side uh, after the equal to sign then the previous the whatever the value previously what is the sign that will going to change so plus is going to be minus now if this is minus then it will going to be plus so please mind it this is for an example next question atul distributed 126 among his eight friends equally how much money did each of his friends get so it is simply 126 need to be divided by 8 so 8 ones are 8 this 46 5 8 46 Point zero seven fifty six four zero five forty so fifteen point seven five so option A is your correct answer.
Look at the following table. One chair rupees is five forty six. One table eight ninety. One fan four fifty. Ashin bought seven chairs, five tables, and some fans. Some fans. He paid total. So if we multiply it five forty six plus eight ninety plus four fifty, the summation will be one zero nine seven two. So how many fans Ashin buy? So to find out this one, five forty six into seven, it is seven seven six forty two two four into seven twenty eight. Plus four, thirty-two, three, five seven thirty-five plus three, thirty-eight. So it is three two, eight eight. Okay. Now eight ninety into five. How much is zero? Five into nine forty-five five. Five eight forty plus four forty four. So we need to find out this one. So it will be one zero nine seven two minus summation of this. So what is the summation of this? A, summation of this eight three seven seven. It will be seven seven three eight. So What is the value of this one zero nine seven two seven seven three eight? This is four three two three three two three four. So this value is this value is three total value is three two three four. One chair, seven chairs, five forty six, five forty six, four fifty, four fifty. One minute, I need to check. This is five forty six. Eight ninety into five. तले तले उच्चे three two three eight two two three eight sorry 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 this is three eight two two sorry this is my mistake so Three eight two two four four five zero two seven two eight eight two seven two eight two seven two. So eight two seven two is the summation of these two. Now we need to do this. This one is correct, incorrect. One zero nine seven two minus eight two seven two. So it is zero zero. Seven two two seven zero zero. So this fan, this one, this one is equal to into four fifty. That is equal to two seven zero zero. Now what is this? How many number of fan? That is two seven zero zero by four fifty. So we can divide this four fifty, and we divide this. We can get six. If we divide four twenty this six. So option C is your. Correct answer. Okay. Find the difference between the fractions represented shaded part of the given figure. So in first figure, this is shaded part is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and shaded part is six. So first one is six by eight minus how much? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is also eight, and how many? This is one, two, three, four. This is four by eight. So if we six by eight by four by eight, it will give you two by eight. That is equivalent to one by four. So two is one, two four. That is one by four. So option C is your correct answer. In which of the following figures the fraction represented by the shaded part is more than the fraction represented by the shaded part in this? Okay. 
very good so we need to find out the uh, shaded part which one of this figure is shaded but is more than this figure so if we do this one if we do divided this one so if you see in this part how many small part are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In 8, how many shaded part? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, that is represent to 1 by 2. So this is half. Half of this figure is shaded part. Now in this figure, in this figure, how much is the shaded part is more than so which one is shaded part is more than this so in this part 1 2 3 4 4 how many shaded part and that is equivalent to 1 by 2 so it is not correct here also 1 by 2 this is also not correct here this is 1 by 3 shaded part and here if we do this one That is same, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and after 8 it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 by 8. Now let compare which one is greater, 1 by 2 and in 1 by 3. So it is greater is 6, it is 3, it is uh, after if it is let's say 6 then it will be 3 and this is 2. So this one is greater. And if we see 5 by 8, 1 by 2 and 5 by 8, it will be 8, it will be 4, but it will be 5. So, option C is your correct answer. Okay. Which one of the following decimal should be subtracted from this to get a resulting decimal of this? So, it will be 73.234 minus, what is the decimal number? That will give you the answer 57.096 so what you need to do you need to give here and you put here so if you see the number question mark equal to 73234 minus 57.096 so 73234 57.096 it will be 8 3, 1, 6, 1, 16.138, 16.138, .138, option A is your correct answer, okay. So, these are the 10 questions of part 1. In the next part, I will give you another 10 questions of the mathematics part, okay. And in the third part, it, the 10 questions about the logical reasoning and the scholarship part, okay. So, hope you like this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and like this, like this video and share this video among your friend. and friends who are not still subscribed my channel, please subscribe. You will get more questions about the Olympiad, different Olympiad questions and uh, question answer. Okay. So, stay tuned. Please follow this channel. You will get next video about the second part and third part. Okay. Thank you, friends. This is for today.